Welcome to Fight Club 24-7, my name is Johnny Rashman. Well, let's get straight into it. Jake Paul has just defeated Nate Diaz by unanimous decision. Right, first of all, I need to apologise about my voice. I'm on the verge of losing it. So bear with me, I do sound a bit husky. Right, let's talk about what I've just seen. Uh, I'm, ju- I'm going to try and keep this short because it is 7 in the morning in the UK. I've been up all night and, oh my God, listening to that Wade fellow on commentary at half five in the morning is not what I want to hear, right? I don't need to hear that waffle. Jesus, it's ridiculous time. It started the main event. Anyway, look. The fight was actually exciting. I'm not going to lie. I was in two minds whether to buy it or not. What really pushed my decision to buy it is I've got to make a video about it. Do you know what I mean? So I've got to watch the fight, you know. So um, I did buy it. And uh, to be fair, it was a good fight. It was enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was decent value for money. You know, you know what you're getting with it. You're getting uh, two non-boxes, boxing, and it made for an entertaining fight. However, it was designed for Jake Paul to look good and to get the knockout, and he never did. He never got the knockout. He fought a guy who, in his first boxing match, much smaller at the end of his career, and Nate Diaz, thank God, gave him trouble. Gave him trouble. The disrespect before of Nate Diaz. I told you all before, there's videos of me saying it, there's posts of me saying it, that Diaz could win the fight. And the disrespect and the times he sparred with Andre Ward and people saying he's going to get blown out in a round or two. And I kept telling people, he's not fighting a top prospect. Like So many people are lured into the, the stardom and the following and all that. It's just utter shite. It's nonsense. It's a boxing match, right? He was never fighting a, a an Olympic style boxer or a future world champion. He was fighting a guy, a, a, a basic, basic novice who's still a novice, you know. So the idea that Paul was going to knock him out in the round or two, I kept telling people, just talking nonsense, just disrespectful. And Diaz called him trouble. I said to you, the punches, they might not be effective, but the razor, they, they will slash you and they will slash you and, you know, they'll have an effect. And to be fair, Paul's. Paul's gas tank was okay, but he's the bigger man. After watching the fight, I didn't learn much. What did I learn about Jake Paul that I didn't know? Okay, he looked improved at part in parts, but anyone can. When you're not fighting a boxer, take away how good Nate is as a UFC fighter, MMA fighter, a legend. I've always, I've always been a fan. Nick Diaz is an MMA god. Massive Nick Diaz fan I am. Right, legend of the game. But. Nate isn't a boxer, right? So you are going to look good. You're going to look, you can get your jab. You can go like this, go like that. You can bounce on your toes. You can fall into the shots. You can throw a left hand that won't connect on a decent level pro, but you can miss it, but you can land it against a non-boxer, right? And he was landing decent shots, but Nate is just a big punch bag. In boxing terms, he is. He's not a boxer, Right? He's fit, he's strong, and to be fair, they had a decent plan. He didn't try and be a boxer. He never tried to outbox Paul. You could see he was he was trying to break the range by, rather than coming in with a double jab or right hand, he was just like that and trying to run in. And it was quite effective. Obviously, against a boxer, he'd, he'd get hit, really. He'd get stopped, right? But against someone like Jake Paul, it was effective because when he, they were in close, even though Jake was the bigger man, Right, Nate was bullying him at times. He was having a bit of success, you know. He was pushing him back. He was on the verge, I'm telling you. Where you're thinking, if it's another few minutes in this, it could take him out. Caused him problems. Caused him problems. You're not... At this stage now, you should be taking care of Nate Diaz, the likes of Nate Diaz. You, you're talking about world championships. My word, there was a media outlet called Boxing Scene who's very well respected. Putting out Jake Paul says he's going to be a world champion or whatever he said. Um, I was eyeing world titles. It's like, this is a respectable boxing outlet. And you're embarrassing the sport by posting that. You know, if Dave from the local fish and chip shop had a bit of money behind him and he said, you know what, I want to um, win La Liga in Spain with Real Madrid and I'm going to score 40 goals for them and win the Champions League with them. Sky Sports News wouldn't put that out and we'd laugh at him. Laugh at him. Boxing puts it out because he's a because he's a star from a different industry. And you're talking world championships. It's so incredibly disrespectful and it annoys people. 
because that's not going to happen. You might look like a boxer. You might talk like a boxer. You might act like a boxer. You might have the following as a boxer. You might get paid like a boxer. But you're not a boxer, mate. I don't care what your following is. And I will keep saying this. Until you fight boxers regularly, your own size, don't tell me about world championships. I don't want to hear it. And neither do people in boxing. It's so disrespectful. If he never mentioned that, we'd all be on board. We'd all be fans of his. You know? But when you're going to disrespect people, people who love the game and understand the game are going to come out and say, listen, we're not going to pull with that nonsense, right? And unfortunately, the big outlets will lap it up because they want the interviews, they want the clicks, they want the views. And, you know, and look, we all want clicks and views, but where does it end? You just, you, you, want, to, you want to embarrass the sport because of it. Going back to the fight, Paul dropped the as early on, I think, and man, they just, such a dog, man, he is. He's, I'm so happy that he just was walking forward and taking the piss out of him at times, saying, come on, is that all you got? And the big, bad, powerful Jake Paul, and I've always questioned the power, by the way. I've not recently, but if you look at, in the past, I've always questioned the power because who's he knocked out his own size? You know, is it the kitchen sink, uh, Tommy Fury didn't budge him once. Is it the kitchen sink and Nate Diaz, right? Didn't stop him. Is it the kitchen sink Woodley in the first fight didn't stop him? You know, so all this monstrous power, you know. Yes, he's got a bit of power, but you're not, but you're boxing smaller people, so your power's going to, it's going to be heightened more, you know. Did Jake's foot movement look good and all that? Yeah, it can look better. But if he was fighting Tommy Fury, he wouldn't look as good. You know, and as I say, Tommy Fury, he's a basic level pro. He's not a, a great example of a talented boxer, you know, he's, he is where he is because of his second name, that's the fact of it, he's not in the boxing gym grafting, he, he's got no interest in having a legit career, what, he won't win an English title, right, so that's Paul's level and that's fine and that's to be expected, and if you think you can beat Tommy Fury, fine, no problem, but stop talking world titles, right, even when they were in close, Diaz was calling him, causing him problems, you could see he was tired, he was, you know, and... Did, I said about the left hand before the fight. Okay, it looked better today, but again, it's not against a boxer. You can look good. You can look decent. You can throw. You can look relaxed. Against a boxer who has the body mechanics as a boxer, which Diaz doesn't have, it's going to be a stiff lump. Not going to work. What he's doing is not going to work against boxers. He'll just keep missing that left hook. A boxer will see coming a mile away. It's big. It's, it's slow. It's not... See it a mile away. He, he telegraphs it. Telegraphs the punches. You can see when the right hand, he's like, like loading up. You know, you can see he's loading up stiff. Yes, he looked more fluid and relaxed against a non-boxer. And that's what I'm going to keep saying. Now, was the event good? Yes. Was it big business? Yes. Are they making money? Yes. Fair play. I'm not hating on that. I didn't mind it. There's, you know, if that's what you want to do, I'd pay for that again. It was decent. It was a decent fight. What is this nonsense he's saying to the crowd? He goes, Boo if you're a virgin. Boo if you're a virgin. Like, well, shut up, mate. You think that's funny? Who's laughing? It's not even ban what you're banned to is shite. Boo if you're a virgin. Boo if you're a virgin. Shut up, you muppet. My word, like, who's like, Boo if you're a virgin. It's like, it's not, oh, mate, his band is just shite. So, as I'm always going to say, you're always going to get the truth with me, right? But I'm just glad Diaz earned respect because the disrespect before, as, and as I'm going to keep saying, so disrespectful. Oh, it's going to last around two rounds. And as I kept telling you, he ain't fighting a boxing prospect. He's fighting a YouTuber. That's it. He's not fighting an Olympic calibre boxer, right? So <laughs> that was that is what I'm always going to say, and that's why I said I've always said Diaz will cause him trouble. So it is what it is. It's, they've done. They've got the money. They've been paid. Now people are talking. Yeah, he's looked improved. He's looked good, and that's what it was designed to do. Really, it, this was designed to not Diaz out. Didn't work, right? So really. It's, a bit of a loss for him because he's gone life and death with a guy who's had his first boxing fight and he's much smaller, right? And he's at the end of his career. So what you sh what what do you want me to say? What? I'm talking boxing terms. If you're going to talk world championships and I'm going to come at your boxing terms and from a boxing point of view, loads of mistakes. Um, 
Nothing to suggest that he is going to, again, compete with legitimate pro boxers. It's just money, and that's fine. Just go and fight KSI. It's a big fight. I don't understand why you don't do it. You're not going anywhere as a pro boxer. You're not good enough. You're not good enough to compete as a pro. You're not good enough. Right? You might have the following as a big international superstar boxer, but in regards to boxing terms, you're not good enough, and that's it. And you can manipulate people all you want. You're not good enough, and he knows it. So he will just continue to drag it out and make money, and that's what he's good at, and that's what he's doing. So, listen, if he's making money, my hat's off to him. But from a boxing point of view, not impressed at all. Didn't learn anything. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Jake Paul improved? Was it a bad performance? Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know.